Hey everybody, Daniel Durham here at the Four String Ranch in beautiful Austin, Texas. Today we're going to talk about the piece I just played, Lit Du Mongo, and the power of the line. You know, many people think the bass is the simplest instrument, only concerned with root, fifth, root, fifth kind of things. But because of the register that we mostly play in, we define the tonality. Every note of your bass line can imply a completely different, fresh, exciting, surprising tonality. Even the most simplistic harmonic progressions can have a new life depending on the bass note that you're playing and the direction of the line that you're playing. I wrote this song thinking about the great composers like Bach, Charlie Parker, and this one specifically about a Brazilian composer named Pichinguinha. He was uh, famous in the early 1900s in, uh, in Brazil and was a pioneer of the music called Choro. This follows a very specific form, A, B, A, C, A. So the first part of this piece that I performed is based on the most basic harmonic progression out there, the 5-1. And knowing which voices resolve to each other, you can shape your line in a way where you can get away from just the root fifth oriented playing by playing, say, a B flat seven arpeggio, which is the first chord. Instead of resolving back down to the one, the E flat, I might resolve to the third of the E flat, which gives a little smoother transition and a different contour to the line that you're playing. So rather than, which is just fine, you can play or you can play Resolve Up to the Fifth. So here's a slowed down version of the first part of this song based on the 5-1 progression. So here's how I use this melody to make the 5-1 progression a little more colorful and interesting. 5, 1, B flat 7, E flat. So the first part of this piece starts with a chromatic run up to the root of the B flat 7 chord, the 5 chord, and goes down the arpeggio. Chromatic up to B flat, the root, seventh, fifth, third, root, nine, third, fifth. And then when you switch to the E flat chord, instead of going back down to the E flat, you go up to the third of the E flat and play that arpeggio down. And within that, you resolve to the third of the E flat again. To the fifth of the B flat, to the root of the B flat, to the third of the E flat. The first part we talked about was the A section. Here's the B section. It starts on a G7 flat 9 chord, which is also A flat diminished. It can be a number of different things, but the way I use the line to go from G7 to C minor, C7 to F minor, to another F minor, to G7, to C minor, A minor, D over F sharp, G7. Here it is slowly. G7 flat 9. C minor, C7 flat 9, F minor, still F minor, G7, C minor, A half diminished, D over F sharp, G7 flat 9 back to C minor. So the B section starts with the G7 flat 9 chord leading to C minor. G7. C7 flat 9 to F minor, F minor, G7, C minor, A half diminished, D7 over F sharp, G7 flat 9, back to C minor. The C section is in A flat major and it expands the 5-1 relationship by adding a couple of passing diminished chords and two chords. For example, it's instead of going A flat major directly to E flat 7, you can pass using a passing diminished chord and a two chord to expand and color the line a little more. For example, here comes A flat, A diminished, B flat 
minor, E flat seven. All right, so now I'm gonna slow the whole piece down and tell you which section I'm on as I play it slowly. This is the A section. to the sea. So I wrote this piece as sort of an etude with the idea of being able to incorporate chromatic passing tones, diminished passing chords, um, different voice leading, different harmonic resolutions over very simple chord progressions. And these are important tools for a bass player to have because they really define your sound and the smoothness of the line that you're playing. If you like this piece and you'd like to hear more of my playing, check me out on YouTube. It's under just my regular name, Daniel Durham. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to fourstringranch.com. Till next time, keep it walking. <laughs>